a super exciting space news is coming for you. It's possible that a recently found comet speeding towards Earth is not from our solar system at all, and it will likely be launched back into interstellar space after undergoing a powerful gravitational slingshot around the Sun. The icy object will likely become 100 times brighter before leaving our cosmic neighborhood forever shining like a star in the night sky. This comet is named Comet Nishimura C slash 2023 P1. Everyone was curious as to whether Comet Nishimura would become visible to the naked eye or not. Hideo Nishimura of Kakagawa City, Japan, made the initial discovery of the enigmatic comet on August 12. Using a typical digital camera, it was captured during 30-second exposures. These days, robotic cameras that are continually scanning the sky, especially for asteroids that may make close encounters to Earth, are used to find the majority of new comet discoveries. He photographed a brand new comet in the constellation Gemini that morning using a Canon 60 digital camera and 200 mm lens over the course of three 30-second exposures. The visual brightness of comets are measured by the visual magnitude scale. The brighter the object, the lower the number assigned as a magnitude. His previous two discoveries of comets were Comet Nishimura C-202101 and Comet Nakamura Nishimura Makols C-1994N1. Additional observations indicate that the object, nicknamed Comet Nishimura, has an orbit that is hyperbolic. When an item travels on a hyperbolic orbit around a larger object, such as the Sun, it has enough energy to defy the gravity of the larger object. This is probably the comet Nishimura's first and only journey through the inner solar system due to its orbit. The possibility exists that the comet originated outside of our star system, making it the third interstellar object to have been discovered after Comet 2, I slash Borisov and Aumuamua which some astronomers speculated might have been an alien spacecraft. However, it's also possible that the comet came from the far reaches of the Oort Cloud, which is a collection of frozen bodies beyond Neptune's orbit, and floated on the borders of the solar system for centuries before being drawn in by the Sun's gravity. Such Oort Cloud wanderers have reached Earth before, with an apparent magnitude of about eight, The comet is currently well visible through a telescope. It is expected to be visible until around September 7 in the constellation of Cancer, getting brighter every day. However, as it moves closer to the sun's brightness every day, it will become more challenging to view by late September. On September 13, Comet Nishimura will be closest to Earth, and on September 18, it will be closest to the sun. It will become brighter as it gets nearer to the sun, reaching an apparent magnitude of between 5 and 3 in the night sky, which is comparable to the brightness of a normal star. The best view will be from the northern hemisphere, and binoculars may be useful for comet spotting. You can use applications like Starwalk to find the comet. On September 17, the comet should reach perihelion. At this time, it will be 0.22 AU from the sun, or slightly over a fifth of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This will put it directly inside Mercury's orbit, which may be too near for the comet to survive the heat of the Sun. People may be able to see it in the evening in late September if it doesn't break up. Around September 23, astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere might be able to spot the comet in the constellation Virgo. You will need a horizon that is completely clear, ideally on top of a mountain. Although challenging, the observation is not impossible. Due to the comet's position in relation to Earth in mid-September, the best times to watch Comet Nishimura will be just before sunrise or just after sunset. Astronomers don't know when the possible interstellar interloper will depart the solar system. It's also possible that the comet's solid nucleus will be torn apart by the solar slingshot's powerful energy. Photos of Comet Nishimura recently taken showed that the comet's coma or the cloud of gas and dust surrounding a nucleus emits a green glow. Decarbon molecules that are broken down by sunlight emit an odd color. 
The mysterious comet has been progressively brightening since first being observed, and astronomers have been able to plot its path through the inner solar system. It is expected that the comet will brighten even more as it continues to approach the Sun, possibly to the point where it may be seen without the use of telescope. There may be other interstellar comets that visit the inner solar system this year than Comet Nishimura. The non-hyperbolic comet 96P slash Holes 1, which was discovered in 1986 and is more than two-thirds the height of Mount Everest, was detected in January as it made its sixth and closest known approach to the Sun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.